Hi children, good morning and welcome to all of you to this presentation of the, the lesson. This is the chapter number 5 of Hornbill chapter. The name of the chapter is The Ailing Planet, The Green Movement's Rule. So in order to understand fully, in order to understand and have the, the full concept of the, the lesson, let us simply learn through it in English. Therefore, here we go. Let's start. So my dear children, so our lesson today is the ailing planet. Before proceeding further, let me ask you some important question life like the global warming. Have you heard of a global warming? So what is it that contributed to the, the global warming? So can you tell in precise term, in precise word? So it is the it is the greed of the people. It is the greed of the people, not the need of the people, because of which global warming occurs. So how can you tell that it is the greed of the people? Yes, it is the greed of the people because of which the people are not happy or satisfied with what he has. And he goes on plundering, he goes on looting, the environment, he goes on looting the, the forest and in this way he pollute, he pollute what? The pollute the relationship between the environment and the ecosystem, particularly, particularly the biological system. So in this way what happened? It has the, the impact on, impact on the, the environment and because of uh, that, because of that what happened, the earth become a hotter planet day by day. And who is responsible? It is human. It is man. Man here is portrayed or painted as a, as a dangerous animal or as the most dangerous animal on the on the earth. Therefore, so we'll go to the, the detail of the, this lesson. And before that, let us uh, have some warm up activities. So, if I tell you, my dear children, the earth or the planet is ailing. So, have you heard this uh, ailing planet either in the, the geography book or in the, the newspaper? or in the, the magazine or in any article, any article in the, the newspaper or in the weeklies. Have you heard of? So this ailing actually refers to, to ailing means a what? Digest. This is means a suffering from some ailments. Suffering from some a ailments. Ailments means what? Digest. D I S E S E disease. Some disease. So, what is the planet we are talking about? The planet that we are talking about is the is the, the Earth. Now, on the face of this Earth, if anything is extremely extremely in danger, it is the Earth. And for this particular awareness among the, the people, a particular day is a face which is regarded as in the earth day. So what is the, the day can you tell? So it is the it is the 22nd of which month? April. 22nd of April is regarded as in the, the earth day. Our day is celebrated in order to bring some awareness into the people about the, the environment, about the, the ecology and keep the, the earth keep the earth as it is or in some better condition for the next generation that is going to come after us. Therefore, as far as the title of this lesson is concerned, when you discuss about the title, 
the alien planet so we can uh, notice that the planet at this uh, particular uh, particular time is uh, suffering from the, the disease and the, this uh, disease in the, the form of the pollution in the, the form of the, the pollution and this uh, pollution is the side effect is the side effect side effect of what side effect of the, the development maybe or it also may be the side effect of the illiteracy illiteracy means the people are not aware about what is going to happen to them if the earth on which they are living is a disease or is suffering from any kind of disease therefore we are talking about our planet earth which is now suffering from the, the disease in order to cure the, the disease what we need to do we should be very alert about about what the environmental pollution the degradation of the, the forest and dissemination of the, the trees all these are thing we'll have to do, take care only when trees leave we can live when the, the trees leave then we can live therefore it is a well said that the forest precedes man matlab forest pehle aata hai uske baad kon aata hai aadmi aata hai aur usko follow kon karte hai usko follow karte hai desert mein so pehle to forest aaya this is a forest and after that a man comes and man starts the plundering and the, the looting work the exploitation of the, the forest and as a result of what happen the forest land is gradually decreases or the forest land disseminates and as a result of what happen the desert desert increase or if it is unchecked the whole of the, the part of the globe may turn into the, the desert the world the earth will be totally unsuitable it will be going to do the earlier stage earlier stage therefore we are talking about the environmental pollution and we are talking about the green movement's role in this particular case green movement actually was was a particular movement that started in the year 1972 a green movement at the term green actually refers green actually refers what does the green actually refers green actually refers to the growth luxuriant growth means what it actually refers to the forest it actually refers to the plantation of the, the trees therefore green movement is the particular movement in the history of the, the mankind that actually talks about the plantation of the, the trees that actually wants to bring some awareness among the, the people so that people stop cutting the, the tree for his own benefit so the the, the writer nani palkiwala is not against the, the development he is telling development is very much needed if there is no development then then there will be impact of it on the environment there will be impact on the, the forest and it will have indirect impact on the, the on the, the environment therefore sir, the development is needed but development should be such that it will have no impact either in the, the present or in the future and this sort of development my dear children is called the sustainable type of development therefore as far as the, the title of this lesson is concerned we are talking about the, the ailing condition or the disease condition of the, the earth and it is a it is a caused by the, the human and the good news is that there is a movement that movement started in the, the year 1972 and after its start a particular new idea dawned in the, the mind of the, the people and because of uh, this idea because of uh, this concept on this earth now now people begin to take new awareness about the earth 
and accordingly steps are taken and therefore therefore people people try to better the condition of the earth therefore this is a good good gesture this is a good step taken by the human in this crucial moment crucial moment of the declining health of the earth therefore my dear children so now we will be going in a systematic manner we will go to the introduction of the lesson or the synopsis of the lesson we will be going to the author and we will be going to the summary in the form of the point we will be seeing the summary in detail we will see the summary in detail and we will also see the short answer type questions followed by some tips on the long answer type questions therefore our discussion will be complete therefore have patience and just go on with me in the trip or the journey journey on our earth to better its condition therefore let us proceed there you go my dear children you can uh, see here a small boy small boy here so what are the boys uh, doing the boys are uh, planting a sapling planting a sapling and this uh, sapling will turn into tree and this uh, tree will be the nurse it will be the mother it will be our god okay. it will be our god it will be our garden and it will be our everything is a tree so as you know so the, the science behind it the simple science behind it is that so when in the, the respiration okay so what do we do so we take 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 what take the oxygen and oxygen is emitted by the, the tree and while we are, we are breathing out we excel what we excel the carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide actually pollute pollute the environment but the good thing is that it is a this a tree this a tree which helps in balancing and more particularly the trees exploit this one it uses carbon dioxide for producing its food in the form of the photosynthesis therefore it is a very good news therefore it is a well said that if the, the tree so leaf only then we can leave therefore planting of the, the tree is a must and we need to multiply the, the effort in this direction so that our existence on the, the earth is not question and the existence of this earth also is not question therefore let us continue so now let us start with the author so here you go let us continue so we start with the author so my dear children when we learn about the, the author then we can learn a lot of things so when you learn about the, the background of the, the author we can get to the, the view the attitude the perspective or the, the angle in which he thinks and then our concept on this particular lesson becomes very transparent very clear therefore we are talking about uh, this writer nani palkeliwala so who was born in 16 january he was uh, born in 16 january in 1920 in bombay to the middle class parsi parents his uh, family name is uh, derived from the, the profession of his uh, forefather who had been manufacturers of palanquins so you see my dear children so nani palki wala palki wala we used to call it a palki and this uh, palki actually was used in the ancient time in the maris and the family of nani palki wala had the profession of making or building the palanquins for the auspicious occasion of the, the marriage and therefore the title title is nani palkiwala 
and originally originally he is a he belongs to a parsi family and settled in mumbai then let us continue here we go let us continue so nani palkel was educated at master tutorial high school and later at the saint javier's college in mumbai he was a dedicated scholar at the college he earned a master degree in english literature english literature and finally finally he became the, the barrister means he became the lawyer a reputed lawyer in mumbai and he practiced the, the scene because he understood that he has some caliber some talent in the intricacies of the jurisprudence in the intricacies of the law therefore he became the excellent barrister so he got a lot of awards and rewards because of his contribution in the field of literature and this a particular lesson that we are talking about it is an article my dear children this is an article published uh, where published in the indian express in the, the year 1994 that is 24 november 24 november 1994 and the, the name of the newspaper was the indian express and it was it was uh, published in the form of the, the article and finally it uh, it was also published in the form of the book and this is the, the chapter this chapter is an article published in the, the newspaper what is uh, this article talks about this uh, talks about the declining health of the, the earth continue to have relevance so it uh, talks about the declining health it talks about the declining health of the earth means declining means so what just the opposite of just the opposite of better okay just the opposite of better better or ameliorate 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 or better so the, the direct meaning will be will be o w o r s e n worsen matlab kharab hona declining health so dheere dheere deteriorate hona hai na you see this word beta re o ret ye bhi bahut acha word hai you are to learn this word so when you go through the lesson it is better that you underline the, the word with pencil write down the, the meaning different meaning associated with the, the with the, the word to write because in this lesson my dear children we are going to learn about many new vocabulary items we are going to talk about the holistic development we are talking about the sustainable development and we are talking about many particular terms related to the environment science and also to the geography therefore it is better to be familiar with those words and expressions therefore my dear children now let us go to the introduction to the lesson here you go let us proceed now the introduction more than ever that the planet earth is losing its vitality and freshness so this word you will have to pronounce it as loose loose l o s e loose the another word you see l o o s e loose this is adjective okay and this one is verb the past participle and past tense of the, the same is lost loose lost lost this is a adjective loose garment loose dress okay loose therefore now let us continue more than ever the planet earth is losing its vitality and freshness so it is the kind of the awareness among the people that ever since the creation of this earth it is losing its vitality means vitality means what it is related to the energy it is related to the energy vitality vigor 
ओके बी आई जी ओ यू आर रिगोर ओके स्ट्रेंथ एंड द फ्रेशनेस इट इज इट इज नॉट एज फ्रेश इट इज बिकमिंग वॉट इट इज बिकमिंग एस टी ए एल ई ये स्टेल हम क्या चीज को बोलते हैं सो सपोजिंग यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर योर करी एट द नाइट एंड यू आर टेकिंग इट इन द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग और इन द नेक्स्ट आफ्टरनून देन द करी विल बी स्टेल चपाती इज अ मेट टू डेज द बैक एंड यू आर टेकिंग नाउ इट इज कॉल्ड स्टेल चपाती गॉट इट टेल स्टेल मींस नॉट फ्रेश then now let's continue due to human development activities our earth has become highly polluted highly irreparable and highly damaged so my dear children we are talking about what we are talking about the development and we are talking that the pollution is the side effect it is the side effect of side effect of development if the development activity if the development activity is not a plant well beforehand then there certainly will have side effect if the doctor is not a specialist if the doctor is a not expert then the medicine that you will give the generic kind of medicine or other kind of medicine that you will give may have some side effect means you will be cure curing from some disease for which you have taken the medicine but on the other hand you will have some other diseases new diseases that you did not think of it also therefore as far as we are talking about the talking about the environment it is the side effect of the human development activities means for the development activity what do we do the village the village or the rural areas are transformed into the, the urban areas and for this uh, purpose the trees are fell or cut and because of this uh, what uh, happen slowly and gradually the, the environment is highly polluted highly polluted and highly irreparable e irreparable means it uh, cannot be repaired it cannot be it is not in a position to be repaired it is a it is a damaged to such a degree that it is a not in the position to be repaired we have taken out the petroleum coal and a lot of natural resources from the earth we have removed more than half a world's vegetation and emitted larger quantity of carbon and a lot of other chemicals we have destroyed marine life and made river dry moreover our greed for more and more wealth resulted into the depleting of the protective ozone layer and invited all harmful rays to the earth's surface let us see this part here we are talking about the greed human beings are so greedy that they are not hesitating to deplete depleted what the trees and because of that what happen the ozone layer the ozone layer get what gets thinner and thinner and because of that the uv rays the uv rays directly comes comes to the earth and it contributes to the lot of her disease including the skin diseases therefore therefore for all this all this who is responsible human human is responsible besides so we have brought out a great imbalance between human and the other species of the earth moreover what we have done we have to create the imbalance means there is no balance between man animal okay man and other species in this face of this earth man is the master and at his own whims or at his own will he does everything for his own benefit because what he wants he wants his benefit he wants his 
development and he does it at the cost of others. Therefore, let us go. Now we will be going to the summary in the form of the points. Here you go. Let us continue. Summary in the form of the points. The first nation white green party established in 1972 in New Zealand. So we recall a lot of uh, movements. We recall a lot of movements in this earth. And one particular movement, so movement is a, such a thing that actually gives some lot, some some novelty, some newness, some newness to the, the concept. And a new movement started. And what is the, the name of the, the movement? The name of the, the movement was the Green Movement. The name of the movement was Green Movement. When did this movement start? This uh, movement started in the year 1972 where it started it started in new zealand and what does it actually talks about it talks about the new concept it talks about the new concept new idea new idea that has dawned into the mind of man means earlier man did not have this concept now a new concept a novel idea, a new idea has dawned into the mind of human and this is a good news for the earth and accordingly man is treating the earth, treating the ailing earth. Then let us continue. Let us see the, the point. The next point let us continue to see. While that view shifted from the mechanistic to holistic and ecological. Let us see the, the words one by one. Mechanical means related to machine. M A C H I N in machine. Means it is earthly or it is materialistic. 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 Means earlier people had the concept that earth is a machine. Or there is a materialistic view or earthly view of the earth. Means that the people view that the earth is a machine and therefore it can be used to the optimum or to the maximum. To the maximum. Now there is a shift. Shift means what? There is now a change. There is now a change from that mechanistic or the negative view. To the, the positive one, to the, the positive one. What is that? Holistic. So, what does holistic means? Holistic in simple word, my dear children. So, another word, whole. Whole means complete. Whole means comprehensive. Whole means inclusive. That means earlier we had the mechanistic view, we had the artificial view, we had the materialistic view, which was very narrow. But now our view has broadened, it is becoming holistic, it includes everything, it is become, becoming very comprehensive and it is ecological. Now my dear children, let us see this word ecological. Ecology actually talks about what? The relationship. The relationship between, between whom? Relationship between the man and his environment, man and his environment, I am writing, man and his environment. Earlier also, this uh, view was not ecological view. Now, the view of the man become holistic and ecological. This is a good news for us and because of that, the condition of the earth can be hoped to be better. Therefore, let us uh, go to the third point. Here we go. Let us continue. Realization that the planet is a living organization in declining health due to the human impact on the natural resources. So as the concept, as the view of the human has a change regarding the, regarding the earth, that it is not a machine, but it is a living organization. So when Copernicus 
discovered that earth including other other planets goes around the moon goes around the sun then this the concept of the living organism was developed then it was dawned then it was it came to the mind of the human that the earth is a living organism and it has its own need it has its own metabolic need metabolic need now let us see what is metabolism 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 is a particular process by which by which we take the food and and digest it so for its own metabolic system for its own metabolism what is what is what is needed the earth is considered to be a living, living organism having its own metabolic needs and own requirement therefore my dear children now the new concept is that there is the holistic or the ecological view of the earth so earth is viewed as holistic and ecological then now let us see the next point sustainable development sustainable development so this the concept of my dear children was developed in the year 1900 and 1987 in 1987 a new term sustainable development was coined was c o i n e d coined means that this particular term was derived what does this actually talks about this is a good term and it talks about the development development of the, the present without compromising to the ability of the, the future generation to meet their needs means just by using the, the natural resources the present generation will meet their need at the same time they will also look at the, the thing that it will not have the, the bad impact or it will not have any negative impact on the earth so that it can be used or exploited by the human generation or the next generation to come then let us see the, the next point we today known as the world's most dangerous animal are custodians of the, the future so now let us see my dear children this is a quite interesting so we are regarded as being the, the most dangerous animal on the, the face of this earth we are the most dangerous enemy so in the, the zoo in lusaka zambia so have you heard of zambia zambia in zambia a place is called lusaka l u s a k a lusaka there is a zoo and in the zoo in a case in a particular case so what was the, there there was there was a mirror there is a mirror in front of uh, this uh, particular case there was a sign board okay there was a sign board in the sign board what was the written in the sign board it was written the most dangerous animal in the, the world then the people was uh, very much uh, curious what is uh, there in this uh, case let me see and then when the, the people hurried went uh, there then they could see oh there is one blank mirror when people go there they can see their own reflection or one own image that means symbolically or indirectly in metaphorical terms the writer wanted to tell that human is the most dangerous species human is the most dangerous animal on the face of this earth and ironically speaking they are the custodian of the future this dangerous animal are the custodian supposing supposing you have a 2 lakhs of rupees so you believe one of one of your friend and you submit this money as been the custodian as been the custodian 
but your friend happens to be a cheater he cheated you very badly telling that no no you have not submitted any money you have not deposited any money to me therefore this is such is the condition here also we are the most dangerous animal and we are the custodian of the future therefore let us continue here we go undiscovered species exist in large number but we may never discover their identity if we do not conserve their habitats so when we are talking about the other species other species on the, the space of this earth there are so many species there are so many species and some of them are specified or cataloged some of them are cataloged means that they are named so how many of them are named 1.5 million living species they are categorized they are specified or they are cataloged but many of them are here they are suffering from they are suffering from identity crisis means they are not still now not given the name they are suffering or languishing unnamed in the ignominious darkness ignominious darkness means they are living in such a horrible darkness that still now the scientist or the biologist could not give any name to this this particular species or uncategorized uncatalogued species then now let us see the next one here go let us continue Lister R. Brown's book, The Global Economic Perspective, identifies the four principal biological systems of the earth as fisheries, forest, grassland, and cropland. So, my dear children, now this is a long question will come from this. So, we will be starting with, we will be starting with, so the question will be like this. What are the major biologic, major, major biodiversities or biological systems in this world according to R. Brown illustrate them then you will have to tell all this so what you will be telling so Lister Brown Lister Brown Lister R. Brown wrote this a thoughtful book the name of the, the book is a global economic prospect I am writing the short from global economic prospect Jeff and in this uh, book, according to this uh, book, there are four biological systems. One, fisheries. Number two, forest. Number three, grassland. And number four, crop land. Number four, crop land. Now, what he meant to tell, so he wanted to tell the present condition of this biological system. So, he will be telling that, okay, now, it is not all this biological system are not in a sustainable stage now because it has been exploited to the maximum and because of that the systems are suffering therefore let us continue come to the next point so here you see the point Overfishing and deforestation coupled with the uncontrolled population explosion has led to the collapse of the fishery, disappearance of the forest and, and conversion of the grassland to the barren wasteland and the deterioration of the crop. Now we are talking about the human impact here. We are talking about the human impact. I am writing impact. This is human impact. We are talking about the human impact. So normally speaking, what what we notice is a, that we are protein conscious people. Protein conscious people means we are hungry for protein, and for this particular purpose, what we do, what we search for, we search for the other resource and resource into the form of the fishery, and therefore what we do, we go to the fishery and we kill them at the root big or small and every okay every type of the, the every type of the, the fish every variety of the, the fish is is rooted out 
they are killed they are used for the for the satisfaction of the protein of the, the human being then there is there is a what this is a very dangerous one and this is the population explosion why is a population explosion occurs and this occurs because of the illiteracy when the people are illiterate then then what happen they do not know the impact of it they have the opinion to that more people more work but more people less work more people less food that is the concern therefore as a result what happen when the population explodes when the population explodes it has impact on the fisheries forest cropland and other biodiversity and as a result of what happen the forest forest land are turned into the barren wasteland and deforestation deforestation occurs and deterioration of the crops occurs then let us continue see the next point we lose an acre and half of forest every second every second and the world bank estimates a five fold increase in the rate of the forest plantation to cope with the demand of the fuel wood so this is the present data so we we are losing one acre of land okay and half of forest every second so per second per second we are losing what one or n acre of one acre of land and the world bank records that the world bank tells that in order to meet the demand of the fuel wood or the fire wood so what we need to do, do we need to multiply the present tree with the five means we need to multiply our effort five times in order to meet the demand of the fuel for the exploded population at present now my dear children so let us come to the constitution and we will we'll notice sign in the constitution the state is empowered so some power is a special power is given to the, the state so that they can protect the environment and they protect the forest of that particular locality and what is the what is the special article so this is article number 48 article 48 of the, the constitution that the state shall endeavor to protect and improve the, the environment and to safeguard the forest and wildlife of the, the country author lemons to the law are never respected or enforced in india so nani palkilwa he is having the, the negative attitude so he tells that he is a very pessimistic he is a very pessimistic so my dear children do you know what is a pessimism 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 means what negative attitude so he is a very much a pessimistic he is a very much realistic so he sees that even though the article 48 of the indian constitution gives the power to the, the state to protect and improve the, the environment and safeguard the forest and the, the wildlife yet what really happens is that it is very miserable that neither the law are enforced nor law is respected in india truly so this is the, the pitiable condition in our country then uh, let us uh, come to another data very important one so this is also related to related to the, the population explosion fertility falls as income rise when the, the income rise so when the, the income rise means the, the income goes up income increases then what happen the fertility fertility falls means that this is so income goes up the fertility will go down means that when when people will have more income then they will have less 
lesser children, black children means in this way the population will be under control when the earning will go up. So this is a simply a reciprocal ratio. Reciprocal ratio. Education spreads and the health improves. When education, education does not a miracle. When education is spread, then the condition of the, the health of the, the people, people become very much aware of the, the health and the condition of the, the health also improve due to the, the spread of the education. Therefore, education is a very good tool. It improves the health and it also helps in rising the economy and following the population explosion. Thus, development of which may ensure rate income is the best contraceptive. Now, my dear children, you note it down to that development is the best contraceptive. So, I am writing D is equal to C. How is D equal to C? Quite funny, my dear children. Isn't that it? But here, the fact of the matter is that this stands for development. When there is a development, it will, it will, it will ensure, it will ensure what the GDP will be increased, the income of the, the per capita income will also increase, and that will, that will, also, will decrease what the population that will control the population explosion or the population graph will fall down. Therefore, development is equal to the contraceptive or development is equal to the controlling of the population. Controlling of the population. But development is not, not possible without a control on a population explosion. In order to get the development, so what we need to do, do? We need to do control our population explosion. More children, more hungry mouths, which implies poverty as well as as well as increased increased demand on our natural resources. So when uh, there will be population explosion, then more children will mean more hungry mouths, which implies poverty as well as the increase of demand on the material resources or the natural resources. Now let us see the next part. So in the next part we will see the condition of the population at present. The population at present. In this current population, in this current population is estimated to be 1.3 billion while the world's population is about 7 Point five billion. Hence, we hold the major chunk of the, the world. So you just imagine this is the population of India and this is the population of the, the world or the, the globe. And we are sharing one seventh of the population of the, the globe. And therefore, we are holding the, the major chunk, major portion, major part of the, the of the population. The author questions whether we recognize this fact that we are at least now willing to make a change in our awareness of the human impact on environment. Now, Nani Palkirala, he questions, questions whether we have now recognized or admitted the fact that finally we are willing to make a change in our awareness of the, the human impact on the, the environment. The writer is uh, very much pertinent or very much appropriate in asking the question that whether we have admitted to finally that we have the impact on the environment. Therefore, let us continue. Let us see the, the next point. Point number 13. Overfishing and deforestation cooperation of the uncontrolled population explosion and led to the collapse of fishery, disappearance of the forest cover and, con and conversion of grassland to the barren wasteland and the degradation of the forest. Then let us continue. So we have already discussed this part. 
so let us uh, see uh, so let us uh, see this uh, part point number next era of responsibility so my dear children this is an era of responsibility we should be very much a responsible citizen we should not uh, simply demand our right we should also be responsible for the duty of us. Whatever duty we have, we should remember the awareness of the, the role and the, the need for sustainable development. That is the era of that is the era of responsibility. So uh, let us uh, continue with uh, this uh, point number eighteen. So this is the era of the, the responsibility. The environmental problem does not necessarily signal our demise it is our passport to the future the emerging new world vision has ushered into the era of responsibility so we have the world vision and it has dawned or it has emerged all of a sudden in our mind it is a holistic view and ecological view and we begin to see the world as an integrated whole rather than as dissociated collection of parts therefore this is the era of responsibility and in this era of responsibility we have changed our view we have regarded that the earth has been as a being a integrated whole not as a dissociated collection of Let us see that the next point. Author claims that the industry must join the cause and work towards becoming the eco-friendly, just as Joe Point under leadership of Mr. Edgar S. Ullert. Industry has the most crucial role to play in this new era of responsibility. What a transformation would be affected if more businessmen shared this view of the chairman of DuPont, Mr. Edgar S. Uller, who five years ago declared himself to be the company's chief environmental officer. He said, what he said? Our continued existence as a leading manufacturer requires that we excel in environmental performance. So in this era of responsibility, what we need to do when we are when we are looking at the, the development, when we look at the, the development, when we develop uh, through industry, then we also need to, to see that it doesn't have any bad effect or it doesn't create the, the environmental problem. So we need to do excel in the environmental performance too as, as we begin to be the, the leading manufacturers in the world so final concept is a very interesting one and this is a, this is expressed by mr lester brown we are tenants of the, the planet we are tenants of the planet and are required to keep it re repaired and well maintained for the, the generation to come margaret thatcher lester brown so i have heard of margaret thatcher Margaret Thatcher was the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom from 1979 to 1990. He became the leader of the Conservative Party from 1975 to 1990 and died in 8 April 2013. So now the view of these two people, the two people, particularly Mr. Mr. Lester Brown, Lester Brown tells that. We have taken the tenancy. We have taken the tenancy. Tenants means we are just the tenant. We have we have hired the house. Okay, we have taken a house for rent. So in the similar manner, we are not the permanent resident of this earth. We are simply the tenant, and we have given some project promise or condition, and on the on the basis of the condition. What we need to do, we keep the, we need to do, keep the, the earth in better condition. We need to do, maintain it properly so that we can give it 
to our next generation in its better condition. Therefore, we are the custodian, we are the, the tenant, we are the freeholder, we are we are we are the, the we are the, the tenant here, and therefore, accordingly, we need not be posing ourselves as being the, the owner of this earth. Therefore, this is very wise saying by Mr. Brown that actually changes the whole concept of the, the ownership of the, the earth. We are not the, the owner. We are simply the, the tenant and accordingly, just by abiding by the, the rules and regulations of the, the tenancy, we need to keep the, the earth in its repairable condition. It is to be maintained properly so that the, the future generation can use it profitably. My dear children, I suppose you understood the lesson well. So now is the time for discussing some short questions and answer. Let us see the, the questions. Very short type question. The question consists of 30 to 40 words. How many lines will be there? The question answer will have 2 to 3 sentences. 2 to 3 sen sentences. Paragraph need not be changed when there is only one part of the, the question. When the, the question is divided into two paragraphs, accordingly the change of the, the change of the, the paragraph to be made. When the, the part of the question, according to the, the part of the question, you will have to change the paragraph of the question. Why is the earth said to be an ailing planet? Ailing means uh, as we have uh, discussed, ailing means uh, suffering from some disease. Due to the insensitive exploitation by human for their survival and development, the earth has lost all its vital resources. Vital resources. We have already discussed the four biological system, and all these systems are in the last point. With the drying river, depleted and polluted environment, and deteriorated forest and greenery. The earth is now breathing hard for its survival and thus it is an ailing planet. <clears throat> so in this uh, case, you will have to talk about uh, the forest, you will have to talk about uh, the river or uh, the water body, you will have to talk about uh, the environment, you will have to talk about the cropland or the fisheries too. And you will be talking that it is uh, the deteriorated condition, it is the worst condition of this planet because of the, the human development and human greed. Then let us see the, the next question. The question here is what is the significance of what is the significance of the green movement in the, the modern world? So now only I have discussed the green movement that was found in New Zealand in the year 1972 brought a great awareness to the humanity to taught us that we are just partners on the earth having equal right to inhabit this planet as any other living organism has. Having learned these human beings worldwide stopped large amount of destruction that it used to cause upon the earth. People realized that the earth existence was threatened and began to do whatever, whatever was possible by each individual and each nation to better its condition. Now my dear children, let us go to some long question. So we will see some long question. Here you see some long questions. So this sort of question, you can exercise uh, this sort of question. Margaret Thatcher says, no generation has a freehold on this art. All we have is a light tenancy with a full repairing lease. How is this statement significant today? So this question, let us uh, have a discussion on this question. So this is the statement by the, the Prime Minister of UK or United Kingdom. So he is uh, talking about the talking about the freehold and the tenancy. 
means we do not have the, the freehold we have uh, simply the, the tenancy with uh, some repairing lease means we have some agreement uh, that will keep the house will keep the, the earth you will uh, keep whatever we we are possessing at present in repairing condition or in better condition so this statement is very much significant today everyone says it is a my land and that is our land people fight for each or uh, each other territories and encroach to the neighbor's land it is a here here what a prime minister prime minister margaret thatcher observation gains importance we are not supposed to occupy the earth considering that the plant belongs to us that we can exploit the planet any way we like we on the other other hand or we on the country have to extract the resource so carefully that the generation that comes after us will have a better land and sea and a less dense forest cleaner water and clearer sky so the answer is very clear let us see only one question long type question so this is a long type question we'll have a part and accordingly we'll make the part you can make uh, some three or four paragraph on the basis of the question how do fisheries of forest grassland and cropland form the foundation of the global economic system so this is a very simple question my dear children simply you have to write how this biological biological system like the fishery for grassland and the cropland they actually form the economy of a particular country so it is a very simple the fishery actually give the protein the fisher give the the fishes and they actually provide the protein and it also develop when we are exporting the other the fishes to other countries when we are exporting we are getting getting money from it so in the similar manner from the forest grassland cropland it actually developed the economy of the country and 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 it contributes to the betterment of the life therefore all this system fishery forest grassland and cropland contribute to the economy and for this we will have to make separate paragraph each for fisheries forest grassland and cropland my dear children i suppose so that you understood the lesson beautifully you understood the question and answer and as you have known the pattern of the question changes so you will have to see the short type question you will have to do see the mcq question true false question this sort of question you will have to make a lot of practice in order to make your answer in order to make your answer ready made ever ready with this expectation let us conclude the, the lesson hope to meet you in the, the next video till then bye bye have a very very good day